Good morning, first graders. Today we're going to review lesson 11, Hosanna. Do you remember the day you go to church with flowers? Do you remember that you go for a procession with palm leaves? And do you remember the day you sing Hosanna throwing flowers? Well, Jesus was heading to Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. Well, Jesus said to two of his disciples to go to the nearby village and get a young donkey. Jesus even told them exactly where the donkey is tied. The disciples weren't really sure why Jesus needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. A little question. Children, would you be willing to obey Jesus whatever he asked you to do? The two disciples went as Jesus asked them. They found a donkey in the village tied to a post. The owner of the donkey questioned the disciples for untying it. The disciples told them that the master needed it. They did just as Jesus instructed them to do. The disciples brought the donkey to Jesus. They took off their coats and placed it on the donkey's back. And Jesus got onto it. Jesus rode on the donkey to the temple of Jerusalem. Do you know why Jesus rode on a donkey instead of a horse? Well, a person, usually the king, would ride on a horse. But a person who wanted to bring priests would ride on a donkey instead. So by Jesus riding a donkey, towards the temple of Jerusalem, he was showing the people of Jerusalem that he was coming in peace. The people in Jerusalem became excited on seeing Jesus. They welcomed him as a king. They took off their coats and laid it on the ground. They also placed palm leaves on the ground. The children and adults cried out, Hosanna, which means save us. The people waved palm leaves and leafy branches as they were cheering Hosanna. Palm Sunday is the memorial of this triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. On Palm Sunday, we too shall hold high up the palm leaves in the church and praise Jesus. It's time for us to sing a song. Here comes Jesus riding into town. Oaks and branches throw him to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Blessed is he who comes our way, he brings a new and brighter day. The poor are saved, the blind can see, the captive souls are dancing free. Yeah, Yeah, here here comes comes Jesus, Jesus, riding into town. Cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing, sing Hosanna. Hosanna to the King, King of Heaven, King on Earth, listen to His saving word. Peace and justice, walk with Him, let's raise the gates and let Him in. Yeah, here comes Jesus, riding into town, cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Our lives will never be the same. Praise and bless His holy name. And if we cannot sing it out, the rocks themselves will start to shout. 
shout, yeah! Here comes Jesus, riding into town. Oaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Here comes Jesus, riding into town. Oaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Now let's say a short prayer. Blessed is he who has come and who is to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now let us sing a song from the service of Palm Sunday. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to David, son, now and forever. Let him be blessed who comes now in the name. Hosanna in the highest. Now let's see what we should do on Palm Sunday. On Palm Sunday, we shall glean flowers and take them to the church and sing Hosanna to Jesus. Now let us memorize a Bible verse. Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Mark eleven nine. Repeat after me. Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Mark eleven nine. Question time. Where was Jesus going on Palm Sunday? Question number two. What animal did Jesus ask the two disciples to untie and bring back to him? Question number three. Why did the people of Jerusalem place their coats and palm leaves on the ground? Question number four. What do the children and people wave in their hands when Jesus came towards Jerusalem? Question number five. What do the children and people cry out when they saw Jesus coming? Question number six. What does Hosanna mean? Now the last question, question number seven. What is Palm Sunday? These were a bit tricky, right? Don't worry, you'll get used to them. Now it's time for today's activity. For your activity this week, find the hidden words in the activity sheet. And that concludes this week's lesson. Don't forget to do the activity and turn it in to your teacher next week. Make sure to pay attention in mass. Bye, my children.